Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. President Trump stuns Dems, announces massive firings. President Trump has had an innumerable number of rallies. His most recent took place in Springfield, Missouri this week. During the rally, he updated the attendees about his plans regarding the Federal Bureau of Investigation (FBI) and the Department of Justice (DOJ). On Friday night, he vowed at the rally that he would get rid of what he claimed was the lingering stench at the federal agencies. The comments came at a time when media reports have Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein suggesting that he secretly record the president to expose the chaos in the White House. His plan was allegedly to invoke the 25th Amendment to get the president out of office. Fox News reported. Trump at the rally did not specifically mention Rosenstein, who has adamantly denied the accusations. Just look at what is now being exposed in our Department of Justice and the FBI. Look at what's going on, Trump said. And I wanted to tell you, we have great people in the Department of Justice. We have great people. These are people, I really believe, you take a poll, I gotta be at 95%. But you got some real bad ones. You've seen what's happened at the FBI. They're all gone. They're all gone. They're all gone. But there's a lingering stench and we're going to get rid of that too. Trump was in Missouri in support of State Attorney General Josh Hawley, a Republican who is attempting to unseat incumbent U.S. Senator Claire McCaskill, a Democrat. Trump said that Hawley was needed in the Senate to fight for Missouri and the whole country because the Republican Party would never, ever get a vote from McCaskill, including on Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. Brett Kavanaugh, fantastic man. She just announced she won't vote for him, Trump said of McCaskill. He was born for the U.S. Supreme Court. He was born for it. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen. But she just announced, she's not voting, and she'll vote against everything we want to do. McCaskill tweeted Wednesday night that she would not vote for Kavanaugh. In her message, she explicitly wrote that his legal rulings and ideology, and not the allegations by Christine Blasey Ford, were the reason for her decision. Ford alleged that Kavanaugh forced himself onto her and covered her mouth in the 1980s, when Kavanaugh was 17 and she was 15. The president also said that a vote for Claire McCaskill was won in favor of House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, Democrat California, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, DNY, and U.S. Representative Maxine Waters, Democrat California Trump also slammed Democrats, calling them dangerous and crazy, noting that some have called to abolish U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, and they aren't just extreme, they are frankly dangerous and they are crazy. They're crazy, Trump said. Democrats want to abolish ICE. In other words, they want to abolish immigration enforcement entirely. Let violent, sadistic gangs like MS-13, the worst gang in the world, run wild in our communities. I've seen our guys from ICE. I've seen it. I've watched it. MS-13, they're tough but they're not tough like our guys. They're not tough like our ICE people, Trump continued. Politico reported. President Donald Trump on Wednesday lambasted Senator Claire McCaskill, Demo as so phony after she acknowledged using a private plane for part of a recent campaign RV tour, a fresh sign that the GOP will seize on the episode in its bid to unseat McCaskill in November. Trump tweeted that McCaskill flew around in a luxurious private jet during her RV tour of the state. RVs are not for her. People are really upset, so phony. McCaskill confirmed on Tuesday that she used her private aircraft during two of the three days of a campaign RV tour last month delighting Republicans who see the misstep as a display of inauthenticity that can boost their nominee, Missouri Attorney General Josh Hawley. I added some stops with the use of the plane, but I was on the RV so much that the broken drawer drove me crazy, McCaskill said after the Washington Free Beacon first reported that her aircraft had followed some of the route of her campaign RV. After Trump's Twitter attack, McCaskill gave no ground while reiterating her previous vow made after selling another family plane in 2011 amid a controversy over unpaid taxes, to not use her office budget on private aircraft. Paying on my own dime to visit more Missouri veterans is not something I'm going to apologize for, she said in a statement released by her campaign. Hawley joined the rest of the GOP in pouncing on the episode, telling Politico in an interview that McCaskill can't stand to be driven on her luxury RV for two days before getting on her luxury plane. In the 2016 presidential election, President Trump won Missouri and went on to defeat Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton. He won by double digits as well. In the past, President Trump had campaigned and rallied in Hawley during the U.S. Senate race. He told the audience that Josh was the best person for the position. 
a tweet that was set out in June dubbed McCaskill as incredibly phony for her private plane usage for two days during her campaign RV tour. Senator Claire McCaskill of the great state of Missouri flew around in a luxurious private jet during her RV tour of the state, Trump wrote. RVs are not for her. People are really upset, so phony. Josh Hawley should win big, and has my full endorsement. McCaskill has allegedly acknowledged that she did, in fact, use a private plane. However, she insisted and maintained she did not, in fact, use office funds to do so. In fact, she made no formal or informal apologies for taking the trips either. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.